Hey YouTubers, uh, this is the second part of my radiation and radiation detection series. Um, I have a wide range of things that are radioactive and, uh, and that kind of thing. Um, first we have some uh, uranium ore. Uh, we have about 1,500 uh, count per minute source or piece and uh, one that's about 20,000. Uh, this piece is, weighs about a pound. It's kind of yellowish, as you can see there. Um, this doesn't have a crystalline structure like the other one. Uh, this one has a green crystalline structure on it. Um, like I said, this measures about 20,000 counts per minute. Uh, if you're curious about what this looks like, since this isn't a very good picture, uh, just search the web and it'll most likely come up for something. Um, next we have a couple of uh, cards. Uh, one's a thorium doped gas mantle for a lantern and uh, this one is Betaphyte. Uh, kind of looks like dried mud. Uh, I don't know why that is, but that's that. Um, after that we have some uranium doped marbles. Um, these are from about the 1920s, 1930s. Uh, they don't make these anymore because they're kind of dangerous. You wouldn't want your kid or anyone to be playing with them. Um, I think these are rejects from the plant because uh, most of them are kind of deformed or have cracks or something in them. Uh, they measure about 150 counts per minute. Um, here we have uh, a beta emitting uh, isotope uh, from Oak Ridge, Tennessee. It's thallium 204. Sorry, you can't see that. It was made in August 2006, and the half life is 3.78 years. So uh, it's almost to its half life. Uh, and it's one microcurie. Yes, one microcurie. Uh, it measures about uh, 10,000 counts per minute. So that's kind of neat. Um, in a minute, I'll have uh, some tritium. Uh, here is a piece of trinitite, and what this is is well, it's from uh, the Trinity nuclear blast, which is the first nuclear bomb detonated, and uh, it's basically just fused glass or fused sand. It's kind of greenish, and it measures. I can't remember. I think it's about 5,000 counts per minute or so. Um, that's pretty neat. Um, let's see, here's something that you don't see every day. It's a uh, piece of U-238 metal, or better known as depleted uranium. Uh, sorry, you can't see it very well. Um, it's in an argon sealed bag. Uh, well, it has argon in it because um, it prevents oxidation of the metal. Uh, you can kind of see it in there. It's about five grams of it. Um, they're trying to get this stuff made illegal because they use it in weapons for uh, armor piercing because because of its armor piercing capabilities. Um, here we have a I think it's called a spintheroscope. Um, it's kind of neat. I can't show it to you because it needs uh, very low light. I don't think you'd, you'd be able to see it in the camera because it's hard enough to see as it is. But what it has is uh, a radioactive source at the bottom. I don't know what it is. And it has a zinc sulfide screen and then a the magnifier which you can adjust. And uh, when it when the I think it's alpha. I think the zinc sulfide uh, lights up when it when alpha radiation strikes it, I believe it lets off a photon. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and it makes light. So you can see all these little sparkles on the inside. That's kind of neat. And uh, here's a tritium source. I'll turn the light off so you can 
see it kind of, it glows green. Um, it's not very bright, but it's kind of neat to have on the keychain, because uh, that was an interesting conversation starter. I think tritium is H3. Uh, once again, correct me if I'm wrong on that. I think uh, D2O, uh, or heavy water, is H2. Um, but, yeah, that's about it for this episode. Um, if I have or get anything new, I'll definitely post a video on YouTube. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please put it, and I'll be happy to answer them to the best of my ability. Thanks.